Welcome. This DVD has been produced by the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service for industry professionals to achieve the following objectives. One, to demonstrate the pragmatic cooking and shower tests required by Schedule 1 of the Fire Alarm and Building Design Guidelines for the reduction of unwanted alarms. And secondly, to reinforce the importance of reducing unwanted alarms. Queensland Fire and Rescue Service is committed to working with building industry professionals in a manner that will support our role in ensuring that buildings are built and maintained to appropriate fire safety standards. Why reduce unwanted alarms? Unwanted alarms pose a serious risk to public safety. By reducing unwanted alarms, the community and industry benefit from the following. Saving of lives by reducing complacency. Reducing the amount of work time lost. Reducing frustration and the urge to tamper with the fire alarm system. Increased awareness of the importance of maintenance. In conclusion, this DVD has been provided to you to assist in understanding how the pragmatic test will be conducted in a transparent manner. Cooking and showering are considered to be normal activities within residential buildings. Even though smoke detection is not installed in kitchens and bathrooms, the products from activities in these rooms, namely cooking fumes and steam from showers, are the main causes of unwanted alarms. In a recent audit undertaken by the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service, amongst randomly selected residential buildings, the percentage of unwanted alarms that can be attributed to cooking was over 85%. Accordingly, QFRS have developed a pragmatic test to determine whether normal activities can be undertaken in new residential buildings without activating the fire alarm system. The test will include 1. Steam produced from a 4 minute hot shower at maximum flow and temperature and 2. Fumes produced from cooking a normal meal such as steak or bacon and eggs, toast and boiling the kettle simultaneously. Steak will be used at every test. Cook in a hot pan to medium well done. 3. Tests are to be conducted with the air conditioning on and set to 24 degrees Celsius with all doors and windows closed and off with doors and windows open. 4. Two pieces of white bread will be cooked at a mid-range setting on the toaster provided. Once completed, it is to be reset to the same setting to simulate a person recooking their toast, but forgetting. As the applicant, you are expected to provide 1. A competent person who is able to conduct all aspects of the practical test under QFRS supervision. 2. A complete apartment of each configuration, which includes all cooking appliances intended to be used within the unit. For example, hot plates and range hoods. Wall and floor finishes need not be completed. 3. Hot water and air conditioning ventilation systems fully installed and operating. QFRS will provide the following. 1. A member of the Unwanted Alarms Task Force to witness and supervise the test. 2. All required cooking utensils including fry pan, toaster and kettle. This is to ensure consistency across the state. 3. All food materials required for the test, including cooking oil, 300 gram steak and bread. QFRS will video the test. After ensuring all ventilation equipment, such as the range hood and exhaust fans are turned on, the steak will be placed into a hot fry pan with cooking oil. The steak will be seared on both sides and cooked until medium to well done. At the same time, two pieces of white bread will be placed in the toaster at a mid-range setting and the kettle turned on. You will note the bread being reset in the toaster. This is to simulate the fact that the toast was not sufficiently cooked the first time and needs further cooking. It is reasonable to expect that as the toaster is an automatic device, a person should be able to leave the toaster unattended until it pops up the second time. A successful test will not activate the fire detection and alarm system installed in the building. 
we are now going to view footage of a pragmatic showering test. The hot water tap in the shower will be turned on to full and remain on for a period of four minutes. The bathroom door will be closed during this time. After four minutes the shower tap will be turned off and the door will be opened and remain open. No steam should leave the bathroom and activate a detector. Any bathroom ventilation must be automatic in operation and not reliant on manual switches. It may be activated by a movement sensor or jointly wired with the light switch. Following the receipt of a notice to test a special fire service, the Unwanted Alarms Task Force will coordinate the time and location of the test with the regional QFRS representatives. Members of the QFRS Unwanted Alarms Task Force will witness the test and provide direction to ensure consistency and fairness throughout the state. Every unit will not be tested, only each design. If the test activates the fire detection and alarm system of the building, it would be deemed that the normal activities such as cooking and showering in the building will activate the fire detection and alarm system. Queensland Fire and Rescue Service will then issue an advice to the certifier that the building does not achieve the performance required by the current building code. Clearly this is not the desired outcome for all stakeholders and reinforces the importance for all professionals in the building design team to adopt a holistic approach aligning with the QFRS guidelines to create a fit-for-purpose built environment that mitigates unwanted alarms. The pragmatic test is not designed to purposely fail residential buildings. In summary, unwanted alarms pose a clear danger to the general public safety through complacency. The earlier unwanted alarms are considered in the design stage of a building, the greater the opportunities for a fit-for-purpose building. And finally, Design teams need to work in a holistic manner to tackle unwanted alarms.